Yes. Yes, yes. I'll be right there. Yes, Jim, please have a seat. Jim, we need to talk. When you started in this company, you were a very valuable employee. You were a hard worker, you were creative, but recently, your work is, well, to be frank, horrible. Your work has been coming in late. You're not focused. I've gotten numerous reports from your supervisors that they've had to repeat things to you constantly. And you've just made far too many mistakes. Now, I don't want to seem harsh, but if you don't shape up soon, I'm going to have to let you go. Mr. Silver! Well, obviously, since you can't pay attention to me while I'm talking to you, you don't value your job. Go out and clean up your desk and leave the premises at once. And don't bother coming back. Wait, no. I, I didn't... Did I not make myself clear? Clean out your desk and leave the premises at once. You're fired. You, what are you doing here? Shouldn't you be at work making something of yourself? I asked you a question. I got fired. Fired? You useless moron! What am I going to do? My mother warned me about you. She told me that you were worthless. I'm going to have to get a job. What are the girls in the country club going to say? Pay attention to me. I'm not going to let you stay here and mooch off me. Now go. Go find a job, and don't come back until you do. And don't come back until you do.
verbe de sa belle histoire Et malgré moi, je veux y croire Parlez-moi d'amour, redites-moi d'air 